Hey everyone, welcome back. So, today's show is going to be a little bit different from the usual. How so, you might ask? Well, to begin with, it's coming to you in full color, high resolution video over on YouTube. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about that later. But I wanted to end the year with a bit of a news update from me, some personal sort of updates, some professional updates, and to outline some of the things that you can expect from both this podcast and this YouTube channel. And uh, 2022 is going to be an interesting year. Um, it's going to be some challenges, but I think it should be a good year as well for the property industry. So very briefly, for those of you, I, I'm, I'm well aware that there's obviously a lot of loyal listeners here on the podcast that are here every week and that are very familiar. But there will be new people that are coming across this podcast or this YouTube channel for the very first time. And so just a little bit of a background from me, Gavin J. Gallagher. So I'm a real estate entrepreneur, I suppose you could call me. I'm a professional uh, property investor, developer, operator and more recently a mentor and coach, kind of all of the above. And I have more than 25 years of experience as a principal, um, professional service provider, or as a promoter of projects. I've worked on four different continents, all the way from Midtown Manhattan to downtown Dubai. And I've also worked over in a, a place called Accra, which is in Ghana in West Africa. So being all around, also London, Dublin, Spain, and so I've seen quite a bit. Uh, certainly, I've seen a lot of different markets. I've also seen a lot of ups and downs. I've seen some spectacular wins where I have really kind of maxed out on um, on the re on the returns. Never expected to kind of get returns as high as I did, but I've also experienced some pretty devastating losses where the market just completely collapsed and I got caught in a pretty bad position. So I've actually endured portfolio value swings of more than 40 million. If that's, uh, and that's probably one of the reasons why my hair is, has gone gray in the process. So anyway, I wanted to keep that brief. So look, if you are new to the content that I'm putting out there, then you have 86 podcasts to go and feast on. And you can binge on those to kind of catch up with where we are today. To the people who are familiar with the podcast, it's great to have you guys on. Thanks so much for listening for the past year um, or two at this stage and looking forward to bringing you season three. In terms of a personal update from me, I got to bring you up to speed that I've actually been isolating for the last 10 days. Yeah, that's right. My daughter, my five-year-old daughter actually came home with a pretty bad cough, got her tested, and sure enough, she had COVID-19. Now, thankfully, it was not a dangerous version of the uh, illness, and she didn't sort of suffer any mega sort of negative stuff, but uh, she had a very, very bad cough, and um, it was kind of worse than we've ever heard her coughing before, and so brought her in for a test, and sure enough, yeah, she had it. So that meant full isolation not just for her but for the entire family because clearly a five-year-old kid you know it's very hard to explain to them that they need to stay by themselves in a room for the next 10 days and so totally impossible in a family situation like that and her little one-year-old brother was not going to be told where he could go and where he couldn't go so the whole family has been at home isolating for 10 days both of them home um home from school uh, and myself and my uh, partner Ilga we were just home together for the entire time and it's been pretty challenging I can tell you but um, the worst thing about it was actually her fifth birthday coincided with this uh, isolation and so no birthday party no friends over none of the things that you that a parent would try to do for their little five-year-old and so was pretty kind of uh, upsetting in that regard but look there's a lot of people out there with much worse things happening so um we were pretty lucky actually in fairness and she actually went and she made me this little thing now if you're watching on video you can see this little thing and uh i'm going to be putting this up behind me but um, for those of you on the podcast that can't see what i'm holding up you'll have to go over to the youtube channel now and start subscribing and start watching it over there now, in other news, uh, some of the little updates I wanted to give you, 
you know that if you've been listening for a while that in episode 79 I did an episode on Evergrande the Chinese property company and I talked about you know the risks to the market now Evergrande has officially defaulted in the past week and it's uh, by all accounts it's in pretty serious trouble now and the uh, the span or the uh, Chinese property market is going through a lot of turmoil as a result of that and it has this contagion effect where the um, the fact that it has started to uh, impact it, not just its property but 93% of its sales have fallen 93% fall in its sales that it's used to every month and then it's unable to pay its suppliers it's unable to you know pay its uh, contractors and it's unable to deliver apartments that people have prepaid so pretty serious stuff then in addition to that we have omicron this new variant of covid and as you know from listening to the podcast that i've been talking about covid for the last year in fact this entire podcast started out as a covid 2020 lockdown project now the omicron one of the good news about it from from what it seems to be anyway that it is not as seriously uh, illness producing uh, so if you catch it you don't feel it in the same way as you did the previous versions. But from what I'm hearing and what I'm reading, it is five times more transmissible. And uh, the Delta variant was already pretty transmissible. And so five times more than that is just insane. So it looks like everyone is preparing for this massive, massive you know, peak in the illness. And so I think lockdowns are about to start again. Certainly in Ireland here, where I'm from, last night there was an announcement from the government that they're bringing in an 8 p.m curfew for all hospitality and i think that is just in the lead up to christmas i think there's probably going to be more serious lockdowns after christmas and then another little piece of news that i've been reporting on is inflation and as a result of covid and the lockdowns and the supply chain issues that we've been experiencing there is now this sort of in inflation problem that the central banks are starting to have to deal with and i think in america there it hit six percent last week or whatever and so suddenly people are all on edge the stock market is jittery uh, investors are kind of getting a bit nervous and so I, I would not be surprised at all if there was a massive correction or a massive you know change in the sentiment in the market I, if you watch any kind of YouTube videos at the moment, they're all about the crash is here already and it's coming and it's this and that and all of this kind of stuff as if it's kind of like the 1929 all over again or 2008 all over again. I think it'll be, it would not surprise me at all, but it's not going to be 2008 again, I think. It's going to be uh, possibly, well, it'll be a dot-com crash. It might be a crypto crash. And what it could be is some sort of, massive crash in the financial markets um, with investors getting very badly burned because of all the leverage that's being used out there property market i think will actually you know fare quite well um, because of the demand for property but i do think that what could happen what could impact the property market is access to capital i think the demand will remain there and that will probably hold up prices but you might find that there's an awful lot less investors around because um, people have lost so much over in the other areas in the stock market and stuff. So anyway, we will have to wait and see. But ladies and gentlemen, the big news, the really massive, massive news for 2021 is that this little podcast behind the facade, the, facade, the 2020 lockdown project that I managed to start in uh, sitting at home has just hit last week number one in the apple podcast charts in the category of investing here in ireland so absolutely blown away um i i had no idea i i was i got an email from somebody saying wow gavin you know the the podcast just hit number one i didn't even i wasn't even aware of it so super exciting um and it makes me really enthusiastic and like i want to double down and put even more content out in 2022. So season three should be interesting, and uh, I have some updates on that now in a moment, but I wonder to just put a big thank you out to you guys. Like, really, the people that are listening here now, uh, you guys are just incredible. Like, you've been 
you've, so I, I get so many messages from some, a lot of you saying that you're, you know, you've, you're binging, you're catching up, you're watching every single episode or you're listening to every single episode. And so one of the reasons why I wanted to introduce the video is just because, you know, it'll allow you to connect more, you know, even more with me. And um, it's just, it's quite humbling actually getting these kind of messages and stuff. So I'm really grateful for to you guys. And by the way, the podcast also hit number six in the same, you know, Apple podcast charts, but that was in the category of business. Now, business is a much, much broader category and it involves kind of everybody and everything. So there's Tim Ferriss is in there and Gary Vaynerchuk is in there and all of these you know, really big names in the podcasting world are there. So to hit number six in that was actually almost more of a thing than hitting number one in investing. Uh, anyway, so look, that is a little bit of a segue into the next item I want to talk about. And that is the change in format that I'm going to be bringing in in 2022. Now, not going to be a massive change. Don't you worry. For you guys who are used to listening to this every Monday morning, and it's the weekly show that goes out with my thoughts and opinions. Um, there is not going to be any change to that. I'm going to continue giving you my thoughts. I'm going to continue interviewing industry leaders. But what I am going to be introducing is a midweek kind of news show uh, that includes a live Q&A. And so it's actually going to be live streamed here on YouTube. And the idea is that it's going to be open to you guys if you have any questions. I get so many questions from people asking, how do you get into property? How do you do this? How do you do that? And I, you know, I started a, you know, building, we started a building project in Shank Hill here in Ireland back in May. And I've been posting every week on my TikTok profile. And uh, some of you might be familiar with my TikTok profile. But it's, it's incredible the amount of people that ask questions and all this kind of stuff. And it's generally been great. I do have a couple of haters. And uh, it's funny, when the guys post the hateful kind of comments, that actually typically makes the video go viral. So I responded to one of those haters recently. And uh, the video actually went viral. And in the space of just a week, I've had over 50,000 views. And a load of people have kind of jumped to my defense and are telling this hater to kind of go and uh, disappear and, and all this kind of stuff. So it's been very entertaining. But what it has opened my eyes to is the fact that there's a huge community out there of young, you know, people that are maybe they're still in school, they're in college, uh, they're or they're sort of complete novices and they've got tons of questions. And, you know, I've started my mastermind. My mastermind is going well, great bunch of guys on the mastermind, but it's aimed at a more... Uh, advanced level and therefore I'm I have not really been serving the the kind of the novice uh, investor out there so this is my way of kind of opening up and, and giving some uh, question and answers and some advice and things like that to the more novice investors so hopefully that will be of interest to you guys and uh, it'll be streamed live on YouTube as I say and in my Facebook group. And if you guys are interested in joining the Facebook group, it is called Behind the Facade Community. And it is in, uh, it's a Facebook group. And so that, if you're in there, you get all of the content. Um, so why am I introducing the new format? Well, if you go back to October and November of this year, I have been doing this thing every week called the Property Investor Roundtable. And it was kind of a live training workshop that I gave and I did it over Zoom and you had to pre-register and a lot of people you know I had about 40 people join the f in the first week and then the second week it was a little bit less and then the third week it was a little less and it kind of the the feedback I've got has been terrific like a lot of people have been saying to me that it was really valuable high impact content but from my perspective, watching the numbers dwindle the way they did, it kind of made me just think to myself, this is high impact, but low reach. And therefore, I want to change that up. I want to find a way to get to more people. And obviously, YouTube is probably the biggest platform for doing that. And that is one of the reasons why I'm going to be introducing the weekly YouTube. And I'm going to be trying to do the... Um, uh, a weekly YouTube video and a weekly live stream. And then I'm going to continue with the podcast as you're used to. Um, 
what else have I got to say to you before I finish up? That, uh, yeah, in, in terms of just a cadence, it's going to be Wednesday evenings for the live stream. And um, the idea is just to kind of reach out to you guys. And there'll be various bits of news like that, that Evergrande up, up to date that I just gave you now. Hopefully there'll be kind of ongoing news about that. And I know there's enough channels out there that are talking about this stuff that I figured I may as well throw my hat in the ring. So before I finish up today's show, I wanted to give a quick shout out to a couple of people who I met in the last couple of weeks. First of all, big thanks to Stephen O'Sullivan. Stephen is the guy who runs PPN Dublin, which is a property meetup. Now, Stephen, great guy, invited me along to the last one. And the last one was actually the first in-person meetup that has been done in more than two years, I think. And so it was great to be there. Um, I was there before my 10 days of isolation, so nobody was at risk. Um, and I got to meet a load of people that I know that I recognize their names, but I didn't, um, I had never met them kind of in person. So a quick shout out to Ed Martin, Paul Green, Mary and Christina listeners, and Shane, of course, client of mine. And uh, I was also introduced to Chris and Mary Selwood, and they are the people who run the Belfast property meet. And they very kindly invited me to pop up to Belfast and give a talk next year. So very grateful to meet uh, all of these guys and it's just nice to kind of put a face to a, uh, a name and to actually like be able to talk to people in person uh, virtual has been great in reaching out to people but it just makes that little bit extra special when you can kind of meet people in person also i wanted to give a quick shout out to a couple of listeners who i've actually connected with in the last week or two over zoom and so uh, just in the last few days, I've been speaking with Miguel, I've been speaking with Colin, um, I've been speaking with Daniel, Chris, Carl, Jason, Dominic and Sonny. And uh, everyone, great conversation had, um, hope it was of use to you guys and hope that you guys will consider jumping into the uh, program in 2022. And now before I wind up and uh, close out today, just a quick announcement. So. We're looking at 2022. I always try to start 2020 or any year. I used to, I try to start it strong, try to finish the one that I'm in strong and start the new year strong. So um, I have been working myself to the bone in the last couple of months and my fitness has not been as on point as I think it should be. So I'm going to be doing a, um, a bit of a fitness challenge in, in the Q1 of 2022. And partly because... I actually am getting married. Uh, I'm getting married in Q1 of next year. And so I want to be look the part and therefore I'm going to be doing a little bit of work on my stretch goals around fitness and stuff. So I have the Ironman to train for next year. Um, but in order to get sort of a bit of a, uh, a push forward before that, I'm going to be doing another burpee challenge. As you guys, if you're familiar with the um, podcast, you will know that I've done what was it a, a 20 um, I did in 2020 I did 1000 I did basically a thousand burpees plus my age and I did that in under two hours and that same month of August 2020 I did 10,000 burpees in that month now I was as fit as a butcher's dog as they say back then I am not that fit at the moment and so the idea is to try to get turn, dial in that kind of fitness level again so by the end of Q1 I want to be up there doing something like 10,000 burpees again. That is the challenge anyway. Um, anyone who would like to participate in this kind of burpee challenge, the idea is to do it for charity and raise money for a good cause. And um, burpee challenge is as good a challenge as any. So if anyone is interested in doing that, hit me up with a uh, on a, a direct message or DM or whatever. And let's go and raise some money for charity. So look, that's the show, guys. Um, I hope you have a, uh, enjoyed it. You guys are brilliant. Thanks again for all of the support for listening away. And I'm going to wish you guys a very, very Merry Christmas. Next week's show is, is going to be recorded, pre-recorded. So I'll get it out before Christmas Day and uh, hope to catch up with you all in January of 2022. Good luck, guys. Take care.